Hi, welcome to Sunny Digitals. My name is Paul. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a political poster that you can use. Maybe somebody you have a client who's telling you create for me a poster. This year is a, an election year, especially in my country. So I'm going to show you how to create a political poster. Now, before you do that, kindly subscribe and also you can like my channel. Uh, let's begin. Now, after opening Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to use these dimensions to create a flyer. Remember, you're creating a flyer, so I'm just going to come here, create new. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use these dimensions for a flyer. So I'm going to use 12 of, 12 of 75. So I'm going to copy this one, and I'm going to place it here. Already it's there. And then I'm also going to use 650 pixels. I'm also going to place it here, like so. Resolution I just leave it that way. The background I also leave it that way, and I'll just press create. Now, it doesn't have to be that hard. After you've just created this one here, the next thing after having this interface here, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add, I'm going to remove the background of the candidate that is going to be in the poster. Remember, this is a person who's going to write for MP. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to file, then I'm going to open, then I'll just choose this image here, then I'll just press open. Then it will open in a different aspect. I want to. I want to edit it differently so that I can bring it here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the background of this image. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come here, right click and I'm going to choose object selection tool. Then after that, I'm just going to drag where my object is and then wait for a few seconds. Then after that, it will have removed the background as you can see. Then I'm going to press select and mask. After pressing select and mask is going to remove the background but you realize some parts here are not removed but you're going to handle them just like that and uh, maybe i can play around with these feathers like so maybe play around like so maybe just leave it like that so that uh, it doesn't have to be that sharp then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to press ok then there we are but you realize this part of the hand here the back uh, the background was not removed so i'm going to zoom it like so and i'm going to use uh i'm going to just use uh maybe i can, I can even use this lasso uh, magnetic lasso tool I right click here and come and use magnetic lasso tool then i'll just drag like so i'll drag like so here so that i remove this part like so then like so like so like so then i'll also come here like so then i'll join them if you see this circle here it means you're going to join it. then i just press like that then the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to press delete then uh that part will be off for me to remove this shimmering aspect i'll press ctrl d and it will go like that then i just do uh, in uh, zoom out again so that I think so. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the layers here and right click. Then I'm going to choose. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to right click and I'm going to apply layer mask so that it becomes one object. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click this, hold, then drag it and place it here and hover here, hover on my. Uh, on this interface that I'm going to use to create a flyer, then I'm just going to drop it here like so. Now we have our candidate in the canvas uh, like that. The next thing you're going to do now, you're going to place the words and also you're going to place the background. So the, you know, uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place the background. So I'm going to click the background here and I'm going to click this one so that I can insert another layer. Then the next thing I'm going to choose the color, which is supposed to be orange. So I'm going to come, the color of orange is the color course, you can find you can find them in the internet. This one is the one that I found on the internet. So I'll just copy it the way it is, copy. Then I'll come here. I'll come and click, I'll come and click here, then it will open for me this one. Then I'll just come and paste it here, like so. Then I'll press OK. Then it will give me the color, which is this one. Yeah, I'll click this one, then I'll come here and draw my rectangle. I'm going to use this as the background so i'm going to make sure i have a layer here and the uh, image is on top so i'm going to drag it just like that then there we have our background which is now orange i'm going to lock it 
I'm going to lock it so that it doesn't. I mean, when I'm doing, I'm adding some layers or I'm doing other things that doesn't affect it. So I'm just going to uh, to lock it. I'm going to click this to lock it. Then we have our candidate in position. If you want to move the, the candidate, you can always move it like so. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to add uh, words. Uh, you're going to add Mal Maliza Democratic Movement, that MDA is the one that we're going to use. So we're going to, going to select and copy this. Then I'll just come here and choose T. Before, before I choose T, sorry, before I choose T, before I choose T, I'm going to add a layer for the text. So I'm just going to click here so that I have a layer. Then now I'll choose T again. Then I make sure the color is black. So I'll come and choose black here. If you don't have colors, black can always come and click here. Then it will just come here. Then I'll just come and drag here like so. Then I'll paste it like so. I want to change the font of my uh, my political party. I'll come here. Then under this uh, down arrow, I'll choose this Boris black blocks uh, font. It is always big and bold and can always be seen very clearly. Some of these fonts you can download in the internet. They are free, and I've done a tutorial uh, which we put somewhere there so that you're able to see uh, where how to download and install these fonts. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to press stick. Then I'm going to try to make it bigger. But before that, I'm going to cancel. I'm going to click this one so that uh, I click this one so that when I, I maximize, it is going to become maintain aspect ratio. So I'll click this one here. Then I'll try to uh, expand. But you realize, expand like so. So I'll just keep like that. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place uh, the logo. I'm going to place the logo and uh, yeah i'm going to place the logo of the party so what am i going to do i'm going to file again i'm going to uh, the logo of which i downloaded a uh, dummy logo which i'm going to use so i'm just going to kind of to file again and place embedded then i'll come to here and choose uh, this either this let me choose uh, this as my logo then i'll just come and place it there i'll come and minimize the logo so that it uh, it resizes to that uh, aspect, then I'll just press stick uh, like that. Just press stick like that. I'll make sure I'll make sure the logo is expanded uh, like so. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add vote for more Africa. Now this guy is called uh, giving a name as more Africa, so I'm going to add vote for more Africa. So I'm going to copy this and copy select and copy then i'm going to do something funny i'm going to duplicate uh, no I'm, I'm going to add another text i'll just click this one here then i'll come and t i'll make sure it's black here so that my text is black so i'm going to draw like this then i'm just going to paste like so then i'm just going to make sure it is like that then I'm going to select by pressing Ctrl A. So I'm going to make sure it is positioned uh, like this. Then I'm going to tick like that. Then I'm also going to make it big like that. But now this uh, uh, I'm I want to make uh, the font this one here to have a different font. So I'm going to select it like this. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to come here. Maybe I want it to have maybe a different font, like uh, maybe that one, or maybe let me look for another one. Yeah, uh, maybe let it have that uh, calligraphy uh, font there. Then I'm going to position it like so. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come here again, and uh, I'm now I'm going to place the name of the MP, Sheila Africa for MP. Uh, Masharika by 2020. Then I'm going to copy all this. Uh, I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to copy this one first, then copy. Then I'm going to come here, click this 
uh, add another layer so the image is on top of this then i'm going to press t and then i'm going to uh, add the name paste but i don't like the font i want the font to be like that bold so i'm going to use uh, this one here uh, that's supposed to be Shalom Africa. Let me give in uh, Josh, Josh Africa. Then I'll just uh, place it uh, like that. Then I'll just. Then I'm also going to expand this so that it becomes big enough. Then I'm going to leave it like that. Then the next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to add another text uh, for MP uh, West 2022. I'm going to copy all this. Copy. Then I'm also I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to press Alt as I drag. Then I'll just paste it like so, just like that. Then I'm going to expand it like so. Uh, also going to go to leave it like that I'm also going to duplicate this again then I'll come here and copy this one here then I'm going to paste it uh, like so here vote for your uh, your vote your future so that is uh, that the next thing I'm going to do and I, I, I want I don't want these things to be this plain so what am I going to do? I'm going to uh, add a brush. Let me see. Uh, make sure, first of all, I'll make sure I'll come here and add a layer here above this so that when I add a brush, it becomes uh, below this aspect. So I'll come to my brushes here. I'll come to the brushes tool here. Then I'll come here and select the brushes that I want. Uh, let me look for the brushes and I want maybe let me check this and uh, not that one yeah I want the charcoal uh, brush so I'll select this but now I want the color of the brush to have this color this you see the red pen here I want them to match uh, like that so the next thing I'm before that I'm going to come and you click the eyedropper choose this then it will become here then the next thing I'll come again to the brushes and I come and choose already I chose charcoal then I'm going to brush here like so and then I'm also going to brush here maybe like so port for uh -huh. you see that then uh, the next thing I'm going to position this text inside the brush here and I'm also going to uh, place these ones like that then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to now uh, use a shape so so that I put a background behind uh, these shapes. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come also here, click this one. All the shapes also to be behind the text. I mean, uh, behind the text. So I'm going to come here, add another layer. Then I'm going to come to the shapes here. Then. I might try to I will use the rectangle tool I want also the shapes to be at least reddish then I'm going to draw the shapes maybe here like so but now the stroke is so high I'm going to re re come here and use it so that I remove that stroke then I'll have my shape there I'll have my shape uh, there but I don't like this shape the way it is. What am I going to do? I'm going to come to edit. I'm going to come to this thing called transform. I'm going to choose warp. Now with this warp, I'm able to manipulate my shape. Maybe it now becomes like this, as you can see. As you can see, I want to manipulate my shape, as you can see. Then I just press OK. I think you see now it's becoming more creative but now I don't want I want the hands of the politicians to be seen I'll remove this uh, aspect here so that I don't aspect ratio so that I'm able to just minimize it like so as you can see now like that then I'll just press keep then I'll now make sure this your vote your future comes here but now I want to double click it I 
want to use i want to spread it from end to end and also i want to use another font maybe this time i use uh, this cosmic font then i'll just uh, minimize it like so then i just press stick then i just position it maybe somewhere here like so then i'll also position this one here uh, then i'll also make work this one here i'll use another brush uh, for maybe no i'll use another shape uh, maybe for this one here so i'll come again under shapes but i'll make sure the shape is a then i click here to add another shape i'll press the layer then i'll come under shapes but this time i want to use uh, I'll just use uh, custom shapes then I'll, I'll come here and I have various custom shapes you can always download them from the internet so I'll come here and choose one that I see is appropriate I'll just scroll here and choose uh, there's, there's, there's a video I've done where how you can download and use these uh, shapes so let me check the one that I'm going to use scenario okay maybe i choose this one here then i'll position it maybe somewhere here like so but now the stroke is so far let me come here let me come here and reduce it to uh, zero like that then uh, the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to make uh, i'm going to make uh, i'm going to change this one into white so i'll double click it and change this color to white so i'll come to colors choose this color to white then i come to 12 swatches then i'll just choose that one here then i'm going to expand it so that the name becomes that visible enough and also this logo maybe i reduce it a little bit and place it there then i can also uh, position this one here sorry let me position the brushes here and also this one to be positioned uh, there then the John Africa then for MP uh, for MP Mashariki I also position this one here uh, then maybe this one can cover up to somewhere here yeah now the next thing I'm going to show you I'm, I want to now spice my I want to spice my maybe I want the hand to be filled and also I'll make sure I pull this guy up a little bit like so so that it, it becomes visible enough now I want to spice, I want to add a shadow for this guy I'll click the, the guy, I'll come to FX here and come and choose drop shadow then it will give you this dialog box here where I can manipulate the shadows and make sure it's black uh, maybe uh, the spread, maybe I can play around the spread so that it becomes like that maybe the opacity i can reduce the opacity like that then i just uh, say okay i'll also come and put a shadow for this uh, object here i'll come and put, again a drop shadow then like that yeah you can see that then i'll just say okay uh this one here the words here i'll just leave it maybe i don't like that font again maybe let me try another one yeah maybe i use this font i put it like that maybe somewhere here like so then i also position this uh, words here i'm going to add a stroke for this one so i'm going to come let me take here i'm going to come fx stroke then I'm going to add a stroke but now it becomes uh, red let me make it black I'll click I'll click this one here and come and choose black but that black is so big so I'll just reduce the size like so I'll reduce the size like so then I'll press ok then also uh, this one here I'm also going to put a stroke but I'm going to put a whitish stroke so I'll come here stroke then uh, well, it's black let me use this uh, stroke whitish but the size is so big so maybe i can use it like that then i'll just press ok i also add a shadow for this comes uh, drop shadow click there 
then it will bring me here the shadow is there also a shadow for this stamp group shadow and a few uh, yeah like that also these ones i want to add a stroke maybe now i'll come effects i'll add drop shadow first then also add a stroke the drop shadow is there and then a stroke maybe white no and when i choose this yeah as you can see here also this one i want this one to be big and to be behind uh, this brush here so what will i do i come here and uh, yeah maybe drag it maybe drag it here's the brush so it will be behind like so so i'll make sure also let me click this one uh, i want it to be proportional make sure you choose this then i want it to be behind like so then i'll just press it now these ones also i want them to be a little bit big so uh maybe i pull it up like so maybe i just use this so then i just position like that also this one i get a shadow i come again drop shadow there we have then we just uh restrict just say okay so guys uh that's how to make uh political poster a simple political poster i hope you enjoyed it you can make uh, such kind of posters now subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch the next video you can also like my channel and also share it with your friends find value in my videos kindly give me a thumbs up have a nice day have a nice time watch the next video